today, world. This is Buck Denver with a special report. Gelatin! What is it? Is it magic? How can it be so wiggly and delicious? Worms are wiggly, but they're not delicious. Chocolate is delicious, but it's not wiggly. Today, we're going to solve the eternal mystery of gelatin as we... Oh, what now? Wait a minute, Buck! We got an emergency video call coming in! Yeah, I had a really great show lined up. This is important, Buck! The gelatin will have to wait! Take the call! Hi there, Buck Denver! I'm here, Brother Louie. What's the problem? We got a question. It's from a girl named Latasha. She's ten years old. She's wondering, how old is God? Is he a hundred? Two hundred? Older? Ooh, good question. How old is God? Yep, that's a question. To answer that one, we're gonna have to go straight to the top. You mean... Yes, Clive and Ian's Wonder Blimp of Knowledge! Wonder where? You heard me. There's no time to waste. We're on it, Brother Louis! Clive and Ian, can you hear me? When you've got a question and you need more information You can find the answer with a little education You can take out student loans and put yourself in college Or raise your hand and join us in our wonder blimp of knowledge Clyde and Ian's wonder blimp of knowledge Clyde and Ian's wonder blimp of knowledge Can we reconsider airship of intelligence? You need to learn to let things go Right, let it go Oop, My muffins are done that's not the oven, Ian. It's the video alarm. Oh, right. Video alarm. Climb it in! We've got trouble! What is it, Buck? What's the question? It's from Latasha. She's ten. She wants to know how old is God? Oh, good question. He's like 75, right? I don't think so, Ian. We need Wonder Blimp to help us find the answer. Monkey, did you hear? It's a question from Latasha about God. She wants to know... Yes, yes, how old God is. Stop repeating everything like I can't hear you. Oh, sorry. I've already calculated the correct course for a dirigible of wisdom. Dirigible of wisdom? Don't you mean wonder blip of knowledge? He means airship of intelligence. Enough already! We're on our way! Latasha, Latasha, ten candles on a cake. How many would it take to celebrate God's birthday? Birthday. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How old is God? Boom. Hey, we've got a signal. Good job, Muggy. You got us there. Yes, I know. I make this look easy. It's Dr. Schniffenhausen. Hello, Dr. Schniff. Oh, hello, Clive and Ian. How are you? Good. We've got a question. Right. A girl named Latasha wants to know how old God is. Oh, how old God is. Yeah. Do you have an answer? Yeah. Have you ever heard the word eternal? Hmm. Nope. What's it mean? It means forever, with no beginning and no end. God is eternal. There was never a time when God wasn't, and there will never be a time when God isn't. Whoa, you're kind of freaking out my brain. You know God made everything, right? Yep, I knew that. He made people and animals and plants. And planets and stars and ponies. Ponies? They're God's most beautiful creature. I'd like a brown one, and I'd ride it every day and brush its mane. Ahem. <laughs> God also created time. He created time? Yeah, there's a beginning to the universe. A beginning of time. And before time started, God was. He is outside of time. He holds time in his hand. Just like he holds the universe in his hand. That's amazing. We live inside of time. We get older and someday we will die. But God wants us to join him in eternity, to live with him beyond time. With no end, no getting older, no dying. No, God wants to give us the eternal life that he has. What do we have to do to get it? It's a gift. If we trust him, if we believe that Jesus died and rose again to pay the penalty for our sins, he will give us life that lasts forever. 
He can do that? He's the only one who can give eternal life because he's the only one who is eternal. God goes on forever. Unfortunately, our signal is not eternal. Time to head back. Thank you, Dr. Schniffenhausen. You're very welcome. Keep following God. God is amazing. He's beyond time. He always was and always will be. He's eternal and he can make us eternal too. In a world where everything falls apart, that's really awesome. Nothing lasts forever. Only God. Nothing lasts forever. Only God. But if we seek him faithfully Then we can share eternity And we will live forever Us and God That's all from the Wonder Blip of Knowledge Airship of Intelligence Dirigible of Wisdom Back to you, Buck And there you have it, Latasha God is eternal He is beyond time He always was And he always will be And best of all, because of him We can live eternally too Um Amazing. Hey, that sort of reminds me of that eternally wiggly substance, gelatin. How is gelatin so wiggly and delicious at the same time? Let's take a closer look at Sorry, this. Buck. Out of time. Say goodbye. Oh, you're kidding me. Man, I was so close. Well, see you next time. Cloyd and Ian's wonder blip of knowledge. Cloyd and Ian's wonder blip of knowledge. I need another restroom break. My bladder is not eternal. Monkey. <laughs> I get it. Hello, Kids Church. I hope you enjoyed that video with Clive and Ernie. In that video, we learned that God is eternal and God created time. He's outside of time and he holds it in his hands. God wants to give us eternal life so we can live in eternity with him and we get this through his son Jesus. Now I'm going to read a Bible story relating to today's video and it's from John 11 based um, from 1 verses 1 to 44 and I'm reading it from the Action Bible. And it talks about that Jesus wept. Jesus wept. While Jesus is teaching in the Perea, word comes that Mary and Martha's brother Lazarus has died. Jesus decides he must go to Bethany. Bethany, that's too close to Jerusalem, where the Pharisees wanted to stone you to death. Are you sure we should go back there? Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep. I'm going there to wake him up. By the time Jesus and his disciples get to Bethany, Lazarus has been dead for four days. Martha comes out to meet Jesus, grieving for her brother. Lord, if you had been here, you could have healed my brother. Your brother will live again. I know he will on resurrection day. I am the resurrection. Whosoever believes in me will not die. Do you believe in me? I believe that you are the anointed savior, the son of God. Then Mary runs out and throws herself at Jesus' feet, weeping. Lord, if you had been here, our brother would not have died. Jesus weeps along with her. I know. Wow, he really cared about Lazarus. Then why didn't he heal him? Mary and Martha take Jesus to where they buried Lazarus. A huge crowd follows them. There Jesus asks them to roll away the stone. Oh no, Lord. He's been dead for days. The smell will be horrible. Believe in me.
Two strong men help roll the stone away from the tomb. In a powerful voice, Jesus prays aloud to God, then speaks commandingly, Lazarus, come out. Lazarus is alive again. They quickly take take the funeral clothes off him. This is Jesus' greatest miracle yet. Unbelievable, the people say. Okay, so the story of Lazarus shows us God's timelessness. God made Lazarus and he was his friend. And in the story, you can see that Jesus was sad over Lazarus' death. And then Jesus asked God to raise Lazarus from the dead. And he did. Jesus did that to show how he and his father have power over death. They are over, they are over all life and death and time. This story shows us God's love for us. God knows death is sad. And just like Jesus was sad when he lost his friend Lazarus and he grieved along with Martha and Mary, he is also sad when bad things happen to us. God doesn't want us to go through bad things without hope. So he gave us Jesus. Jesus gives us eternal life we, when we're trusting him. All of the bad things like death will be wiped away when we are with him forever. And the story of Lazarus is a picture of that. So we're going to take a look at a memory verse now and it's from Psalm 90 verse 2 and it reads like this. Before the mountains were brought forth or ever you had formed the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. I'll read that again. Before the mountains were brought forth or ever you had formed the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting, you are are God. So what that verse is saying is that God is everlasting. He was around before he formed the earth and he will always be God. And that tells us of his timelessness. Hope you've enjoyed today's message. Take your Bibles and have a look at Psalm 90 verse 2 for yourselves and see if you can memorise it, pray over it and feel it in your spirit. And take a look at today's Bible story 